want you to look at something that you all know well, a bicycle. Look at the wheels carefully. Identify the diameter and the circumference. Do you see that the circumference is longer than the diameter? But, by how much longer? Let's ask Zandi and Tebeka what they think. I guess the circumference is about twice the size of its diameter. You think so? Nah, I think it's at least three times. Let's measure to see if Zandi and Tebeka are right. <laughs> Were you surprised? Tobacco certainly was. Going around the wheel is three times longer than going straight through it. Let's take some circular objects and measure their circumferences and diameters. I've asked Sandy and Tobacco to measure a bucket, a can and a five rand coin and place these values into a table. Zandi measured the circumference of each object with a measuring tape. Tobeka put this information into a table. Then Zandi used the same measuring tape to measure the diameter of the objects and then read off the lengths. Here's a table with all the information they found. We still need to complete this column of the table. It shows the relationship between the circumference and the diameter, written as a ratio. We can use a calculator to work out these ratios. The can has a circumference of 32,7 and a diameter of 10,4 centimeters. We can write this ratio as 32,7 to 10,4. We can divide C by D and we get an answer of 3,14. Now in the bucket the circumference was 82,3 centimeters and it had a diameter of 26,2. The ratio can be written as 82,3 to 26,2 and C divided by D gives us 3,14 rounded off. For the 5 rand coin we get a circumference of 9,1 centimeters and a diameter of 2,9 centimeters. The ratio can be written as 9,1 to 2,9 and we divide C by D and again we get 3,14 rounded off. This is interesting. It seems as if the value of the ratios of circumference to diameter is always a number that is very close to 3. And it seems that it is always the same, no matter how big or small the object is. We give this ratio a special name, pi. We use this math symbol to show pi. The number pi is an irrational number. In the decimal form, it never ends and the pattern of digits does not repeat itself. The rounded off value that we use in mathematics for pi is 3,14. We can also write pi as a fraction, 22 divided by 7. The circumference divided by the diameter is equal to pi. The diameter is equal to 2 radius. So this means that C divided by 2r is equal to pi. To get a formula for the circumference, we can multiply both sides of the equation by 2r. This gives us c is equal to pi times 2r. And we can write this as c is equal to 2 pi r.